Hey, what's going on guys? It's Ygaming, back again with some more Generation Zero. How is everybody doing today? Hopefully you are all enjoying the Landfall update. I know I am. I'm absolutely loving it. It is so much fun. Today what we're going to be doing is going over the quickest and easiest ways using the least amount of meds and ammo that you can possibly use, taking down the new Russian machines. There are two types here, the Lynx and the Wolf. The Lynx is the little one that is sort of on a ball, and the Wolf is the big boy that deploys the balls. Ha, giggity. Um, in the video, I will show you the quickest and easiest ways to get right up close and personal and take them down with minimal effort and uh, maximum firepower. It's very fun. For the purpose of the video, we're going to be using four crown weapons, and we will be playing on skirmish difficulty, so it is a level playing field. No experimentals or anything like that. Let's jump into it. Blow up some Russian machines. Here we have... Oh, oh, come on, come on, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Oh, they're too far. No, they're not. There we go. Here we have the Lynx Spetnaz class, which is obviously the one that we've just seen before. It's like the ball type one. And the easiest way to take these guys out is right in the center of the ball, just like on the um, Soldier class. It's pretty much exactly the same. The only difference between these guys is that I have noticed anyway, is they've got melee weapons, which is really, really cool. Uh, where are they? They're going that way. I kind of need them to come over here, really. It would be really helpful. Because then we can actually uh, show the point properly. But obviously the weak points, standard on most machines. The weapons up on the top there. And when they turn around that front section, you can also shoot these sort of blasters here on the back. Which immobilize them quite a bit. It slows them down. Which is really good. And then this spot right in the center there. Oh. Bang. Done. That spot in the center is really, really, really easy to go for. Especially when they're coming close to you. Because you can just bam straight in the in the center and uh, bish bash bosh. Let's use the uh, the HP five on this guy. So weapon down, and then once you've got rid of that weapon, though, they will come at you with their sort of. Uh, it's like a saw blade. It's really cool. I mean, oh, and the sound it makes as well is really fun. So where's he gone? There he is. There's that one. But then another weak point that you can go for is if you can get the ball right at the bottom, you can actually disable them that way. But I end up just going straight for that center point. If you've got a shotgun as well, shotguns work really nicely against these guys. Uh, really nicely. Shotgun with a bit of buckshot. Bish, bash, bosh. And you've got them nice and easy. There we go. There's another one. It works so well on them. And these guys are the harder class as well. Oh, 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 oh. I'm getting really bad at using my med kit, so I always forget. If you get it right, you can get them with a shotgun in one hit. Uh, best, best bet is two, I would say. Whoa! There we go. Bish, bash, bosh. There's another one up top there. We'll get the sniper on him quick, and I will show you the... Uh, Let's try and get his weapon off if we can. Where is he? Where is he? That's the downside of these guys. They move very, very quickly. And they blend in quite well with the winter camouflage. Or the winter surroundings. So they're, they are little, literal masters of disguise. The Wolf Class C. This one is hard. This is the harder variant of the two, the white one. It is really, really cool. The Wolf Spetsnaz Class. Now, um... If you haven't seen the other video, we talk about the arsenal and everything that it can do. Today, what we're going to do is just show you the quickest way to take it down. So as you can see, there's rocket pods on the side there. And then when he stands up, there is also a minigun underneath. But underneath this giant armored section here at the front, there are loads and loads of sort of electrical components, which are really, really fragile. If you can get this hood off, it requires quite a bit of shooting at it. It goes down like a sack of shite. And then same as in the back here. Obviously, at the moment, you can see that he's got the lynxes in the back there. But the second that you get underneath here and shoot this bit, he goes down. Like, almost pretty damn quick. Let's get this gun out quick, and I will show you how easily this thing goes down when shooting this part. Obviously, same as normal machines. Taking down the rocket pods, they fall off. Taking down the gas canisters here at the front, they also fall off. And then just shooting the head, that front section just completely falls away. 
So rocket pods, gas canisters, and then underneath here, obviously, you've got the minigun and sort of like the connection point on the chassis, which works really well. All these orange points as well are really easy to take down. Let's just go for this. You can get it from the front, but it is quite difficult because he, uh, he gets angry if you shoot him from the front. Right, he's dropped that now. He will stand up in a second. Now he's dropped his first set of lynxes. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, got him. Have we got him? No, he's just launched the lynxes. We get underneath now. Shoot this sort of rail part at the top there. Oh, the lynxes are all over me. Oh, no, this isn't pretty. My bullet hole's getting toasted. See, now this is where he becomes a threat. When he's in that sort of idle state and he sat down, really, really, really easy to take advantage of him. But when he sat, stood up like this, it then becomes quite difficult. So there we go. We've got the armor plating off the top. Let's just deal with these lynxes quick because then I can... We can look at him properly and go a bit nuts. I think there's six here now. For some reason, it doesn't matter how many this guy spawns, any of them, there always ends to be, tends to be a, a hell of a lot more than what has been spawned in, which is insane. But I like it. It's good. It's good. All right, come here, you. All right, got him, got him, got him. So now we stood up. Oh no, we've got to heal quick. So wait for him to fire that minigun off. The sound of it is beautiful. It really sounds amazing. Obviously shooting off the knee joints is a good move as well. Just like that. He's not shooting his minigun, so I think we may have actually deactivated it, which is good. Which, I don't see how we've deactivated it. This is the first time that this has happened. But the minigun is brutal. I'm just waiting for him to shoot me with it. Well, we can get rid of it. Oh, the stomp. It, it's not that bad, to be honest. The stomp's nowhere near as bad as tanks, which I was quite excited for. There we go. Bang. Done. So that is gone, which is beautiful. It's relatively easy to kill. Um, it does. It's when there's a big group of them, because it's not very often that you will find them on their own. They normally roam with a pack of the lynxes, and then they've obviously got their own lynxes to deploy as well. But alongside that, if they do come into contact with any other machines, that's a pain in the ass. Now, for this next part, we're going to be taking on another Spetsnaz class wolf. But in the previous bit, what we did was we got right up underneath and got rid of them really, really quickly. Now, this one is a little bit different. As you can see, right on the front of the actual carriage that it has on the back, there's that sort of black circle there. Now, what that is, I don't know if there's a name for it, but that heals nearby machines. So it does create a bit of a problem. And the best way to take him on is at a distance. If you do get too close to him, then uh, he, he screws you over. This guy is an absolute beast. Because getting right underneath him as well, he releases gas, just like the tanks do. And obviously that gas is pretty damn toxic. And will it just you burn through medkits trying to heal your way through the gas, basically. So the best way to deal with him is definitely at long range and to take out the uh, the two bits on the side. Well, he's running off, so let me deal with this guy, and then we'll go get him. So, before he rudely decided to leave us and, and run away, what I was saying is these objects here on the side, they look like discs with like the prongs sticking out. What they do is heal other machines, so you need to take them out pretty damn quick. But like I said, getting underneath him and taking him out really quick isn't an option because the fog just absolutely annihilates you alongside the the lynx is trying to shoot the crap out of you at the same time um you end up in a bit of a predicament so definitely get rid of these first i'm going to leave them on him for a second saying that no we're not actually because i will link in the description down below yesterday's video that we did where i'll show you the effects of these things they are pretty damn cool it does look awesome right he's just pushing out his friends now wait yep now, he just shoots like this weird green thing. But you want to hit them first. So on either side. Then the rocket pods. And there it is. That's the green stuff. That heals all nearby machines. So you need to get rid of those two prongs before. 
before anything else happens, really. If you keep them on, he will continue to heal, and then that just creates an even bigger problem for you. All right, they are off. Rocket pods, let's go. And once we've got the rocket pods off, we'll swing around the side. Let's try and keep away from there. All right, he's got his, uh, his miniguns coming out now, so this is going to be an even more difficult one. I always keep my distance with these guys just because when they heal, it's a bloody nightmare. But if I can't get up close and personal before it's too late, keeping the distance, using the PVG, I feel like is always the best solution, really. Or if you can get close enough without the fog getting you, even better. Right, that's his main components down. Just got the minigun and the knees left. Oh, we could get underneath him. But like I said, that fog really does hurt. Oh, 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 oh! This is how this is how tank babies were made. Boom! Right, and he's down. Easy. Nice and quick. If you can always get under that little carriage bit and get rid of him that way, it does so well. The loot from these guys as well seems to be really nice. I get some good stuff out of these ones. But I don't see them very often. I think I've come across about seven or eight so far. Whereas the other ones, they are ten a penny. They're everywhere in the higher regions. So thank you everybody for watching. I hope it has helped. If it, ha if it has, drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. I greatly appreciate it and it helps us grow a whole bunch. Also check out the members down below if you want to support the channel a little bit further. Thank you very much if you do. So that was the quickest and easiest ways to take down the machines. Uh, from what I found so far and a lot of... And I mean a lot of shooting these uh, these Russian machines. It's been very fun. I've really enjoyed it. It's been awesome. I'm absolutely loving this update. It is definitely, in my opinion, the best update that we've ever had. Best free update that we've ever had. Um, I love it. It's absolutely amazing. But for today, that is it from me. We'll be back tomorrow with some more Generation Zero. If there's anything else you want to see from me on the Landfall update, please let me know in the comments. But for now, I've been YG. You've been awesome. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.